Alright. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we need all prayers on glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakudash, the monitor to the elders and apostles of their millstone. Who rule well, teach well, being great as I'm touch our brothers and peace. It blesses our full leg. Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. All right, um, the brother quit off and the demons been in Chicago. Come back another video. This video is going to be entitled Count the Cost. Do you actually want to be here? All right, and um, I'm going to get straight to the point. You know, and uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the leg. It says, um, this is Luke 14 and 28. It says, for which of you intendeth to build a tower, sit if not down first, and count up the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him. Verse 30, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish, or what? king goeth to make war against another king, sit if not down first and consult if whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him that twenty that with 20,000. All right, so you have to count the cost and it's truth, man. All right, you can't, it can't just be something that you hear, you know, and you like, you know, and you just join it. You have to actually uh, weigh out the balances, man. All right, because the, the, I say in Great Millstone and the other likewise camps will teach the likewise doctors, man. We give you the good, bad, and the ugly. All right. The scripture talks about the word being sweet as honey. All right. Then becoming bitter. All right, paraphrasing that. All right, so, hey, yes, it's good knowing that you were Israelite. It's good knowing, you know, after all the years of... Uh, E emasculation and, and, and embarrassment of our people, man, especially as an Israelite, all right, that, you know, it feels good to hear that, okay, I'm actually somebody, all right, okay, I'm actually uh, the son of the Most High, all right, then you get the bad and the ugly, <laughs> all right, hey, you're going to be persecuted, you might lose your job, you might lose your kids, you might lose your woman, all right, you might lose your health, all right, might lose your car. Okay. You know, and that's when that's when uh, guys start to fall out because they don't have that solid foundation. They didn't weigh out the balances, man. All right. You can't walk in the Lord's footstep without persecute, without um, without trials, man. All right, we have to go through the same thing our Lord went through. All right, that's why the Lord is building us up, the way He's building us up, man. All right, so this can't be something that just sounds good. All right, you got to actually be two feet in this thing, man. Not one feet in the world, one feet in the truth, man. All right, this is, um, I'm getting to grab this real quick. Second Ezra's. Second Ezra's 2, 1 through 4. Let's start at 42. It says, I, Ezra's, saw upon the Mount Zion the great people whom I cannot number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. It says, In the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than the rest. I right, talk about our Lord Yahweh Shai. And upon every one of their heads, he said, Crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. All right, Yahweh Shai crowning the elect. All right, the 144,000, the next rulers, and the next rulers and governors, all right, of, of his kingdom, man. It says, uh, verse 44, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And have confessed the name of the most high. Now are they crowned and, re and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so, stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. Hey, the elect is going to put off the world, man. All right. And stand stiffly for, the, uh, stand stiffly for mm -hmm. the Lord, man. All right. For the name of the Lord. All right. If you stand stiffly, that means something is opposing you. You fighting against that. All right. It says he that endured to the end shall be saved, man. 
All right, so the elect is going to overcome. All right, and the elect counted the cost, man. All right. Knowing that this is just uh, the most high leveling us up and preparing us, man. All right. Knowing that we're going to receive a hundredfold. All right. So we don't care what we lose, man. We count it as dumb. All right. It says, um, one second. This is, um, Philippians 3 and 7. It says, but what things were gained to me, there was I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yeah, doubtless. I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach. Hey, so we're going to lose things, man. All right, you got to be in a mindset of fuck it. All right, the Lord is going to provide you with your everyday needs. You got to be in a mindset of fuck it, man. All right, handle your business and serve the Lord. All right. We not focused on, you know, a five, ten year plan in this society, man. All right, if you're doing that, then you not you not rooted. You know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, having goals or whatnot. All right, but we are we are not looking for the uh, what's that word? Uh, extent of this society. <laughs> All right, I tried to find a better word, but whatever. It's a uh, Matthew nineteen. Start at twenty seven. Uh, kind of, I started twenty seven. Said then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And how shall I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the sons of the, of man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelfth throne, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, so rulership. All right, it says uh, verse twenty nine. Every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life, man. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, man. All right, we count it all as dumb. Are right, we gonna leave this shit behind? All right, because if you if you want, you know, this society to, 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 to propel forward, you know, 15 plus 20 plus 20 years plus 15 years, man. And I mean, you don't want the Lord to come back, man. You don't desire the Lord to come back. All right, our mind is on the scriptures, man. All right. Hey, in order for Yahweh Shai's kingdom to be established, all right, Esau's kingdom has to be destroyed. All right. What did, um... That nigga beard is from Dragon Ball Super. You know, he said before creation comes destruction. All right. This 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 wicked society has to be destroyed. All right, for the righteous to be set up. Like Yodayaki always say, hey, wickedness has its time, but righteousness has its eternity. All right. And the elect is gonna be governing under our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, it says in Sarah 4, all right, the Lord will give into the the Lord will give the earth into the hand of that. That is profitable, that which is profitable, which is Yahweh Shai with the elect governing under him, man. All right. But to get to that, all right, we have to walk the same path our Lord walked, man. We're gonna get we're gonna get tried, persecuted, reviled. All right, like I said, lose jobs, lose home, all that. All right, but the care, the care of the ministry comes first, man. All right, no matter what you got going on in your life, that's another thing about counting the cost. No matter what you got going on in your life, you still have to serve the Lord, man. Multiple jobs, this and that, you still have to serve the Lord. All right? It says, um, it's Revelation 12 and 11. You know, backing up what I said about, um, if you want your Shai's kingdom to come, all right, you, you, you can't, you know, be uh, uh like so like like I said, in order for Yahweh Shah's kingdom to be established, this kingdom has to fall. This is uh, Revelation twelve and eleven. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death, man. All right, so the elect don't give a fuck about their lives, man. All right, 
we serve the Lord, handle our responsibilities here, and we patiently wait for the Lord's return, man, and watch these prophecies play out. All right? It says, uh, this is Ecclesiastes 5 and 4. I'm going to close it out. It says, when thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it, for he have no pleasure in fools. <clears throat> pay that which thou owest. All right? Hey, so you coming into the truth, that's you taking a vow, man. All right? That's you giving your life over to, to the Lord. Okay? Verse 5, better is that thou shouldest not vow, that thou shouldest vow and not pay, man. All right? Hey, like the scripture says, you going to... All right, hey, now you're going to get... Uh, um, you're going to get uh, double the stripes, man. All right? You're going to get a worse judgment than a nigga who never even knew about the truth. All right, the Lord is going to give you a worse judgment than him. All right, because you took, you, you, you put your hand on the plow and looked back, man. All right? Because you couldn't handle what was going on because you didn't count the cost. All right, you, re you didn't read the terms and the conditions, man. All right, because the Most High is not a liar. He is not Esau, man. He would give you the good, bad, and ugly. Esau only gives you the good. All right, and after you sign it, <laughs> then the then the bad and the ugly shows up. All right, then you're regretting what you signed, but it's too late. Hey, the Most High put it straight in your face. All right. Hey, so that's some you know to for um you know for newer brothers to to meditate on, man. You know, so um, Lord, when it was an edifying video. I want to evolve praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kakudash that wants to the apostle the elders great millstone peace of best of all for the Lord willing we'll be a part of that number Shalom Wakwam Yasharab